Hello, this is Tom the Toolman, and today we're going to go over how to connect an FTP to your desktop. This is going to be real easy. It's going to make it to where you will be able to copy and paste file to folder on your server without having to log in to your cPanel or your admin. As you see here, we have quite a few of them already, and I'm going to put in another one to give you a good idea on what it's going to do. Uh, first of all, we come over here. We're, we're operating in Windows Vista. Uh, so what you would do is just right click in the white area in the network locations here. As you can see, it says network locations. Uh, right click in the area and you'll see a menu come up. And in the menu, you're looking for add a network location. Uh, you click on add a network location and a window will pop up a wizard that will welcome you to the wizard and installation and you would just click next this is just a window telling you what it's going to do and it's going to create a shortcut to a website an FTP site or another location and don't be confused with FTP. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. What you're going to do is you are transferring files from your hard drive to your web server straight from your desktop. It's really nice. Now in this section we have MSN communities or choose a custom network location. We're going to make sure that choosing a custom network location is highlighted. We're going to click Next. Now in this here it says it wants an internet or network address. We're setting up the FTP so instead of doing HTTP semicolon forward slash forward slash we're going to do FTP semicolon forward slash forward slash and then the name of our domain which is safelisttoolbox.com you don't have to put a trailing slash on there because it's for your FTP it's not a web address type thing so we'll click next here and here it's asking you to log on anonymously and you don't want to log on anonymously so you put in your username so that it recognizes you and you will click next now at this point this is the name that's going to show up down here and you want it to register or at least put a name in here that you will know that it is Safeless Toolbox or relevant to your domain name. Okay, we're going to keep that there so we know what domain it's for and we're going to click next. And now it's asking us to a uh, shortcut for the location yes and open this network location when I click finish. We'll keep this tick because we're going to open it up and we're going to walk through the process of putting your password in next. So you click on finish and it will pop up a box and here we'll have your admin, your username that you had already put in two screens back. Now you just put in your password. And you tick the box here to save password so you don't always have to keep putting that in. And you click log on. Uh, once you do that, you should see all your files here. Uh, we have quite the big domains. Everything set up and we go to domains you're looking for domains because you're going to be working on a domain of uh, putting up files and websites and stuff like that this will help you not have to use a complicated software uh, then you click on domains and here you have all your domain names these are all our domain names that we work on consistently and we develop them daily uh, you want to grow your network have the search engines coming back to your site seeing your content and so on and here we have now we're at safelisttoolbox.com the one we just set up and through ours you have to go through the system of domains uh, safelisttoolbox.com and then public html because we're putting up a website for the whole world to see now here you have all our websites we have up already on this domain and then at this point you would now come in here this is your domain your public your main website safelisttoolbox.com and there's the home page there your index.html it'll be .htm or .php 
uh, it doesn't matter as long as you have an index page there it's going to call that page up automatically uh, and that's about it for that uh, you can create a new file uh, say I want to put an email submitter up I would right click and go to new and then folder and then it would come up for a new folder and I would name that folder email blaster and I would click into that and open that up and then I would put in my index my thank you page my images and so on in this folder uh, then once you do that your websites live you, you edit your web page and you're good to go so I hope this has helped you out uh, for those of you who are not using Windows Vista uh, you should have a network location uh, that you would click on to go to in the beginning rather than at your computer uh, we will cover that in a later video I uh, thank you very much for watching and I hope this has helped you out a lot and I look forward to hearing from you Tom the Toolman now signing off